One freaking tack weld. Awesome. What's going on guys? Today we're gonna stack weights on a setup that's held together entirely by one tack weld and we're gonna see how much weight it takes to break it and it's probably gonna be a good amount. We're gonna find out. In this experiment, I'm gonna use two very well used pieces of steel. So you can see that I've already ground welds off of here. So when the weld breaks and you see that I've ground welds off, that was done long before this experiment ever happened. So don't be concerned with that. So we have an anchor point on the bottom for attaching a rod that's gonna have weight on it. And this is going to be attached to the cherry picker. Now the trick is just gonna be keeping this straight up and down and trying to apply linear force to see how much weight it takes to break that weld. Should be pretty cool. All right, here is our rigging setup. We have one tiny little tack weld right in the middle there. Nothing on the other side, nothing at all. No funny business. That top piece measures just a little bit under 3 16 The bottom piece is just a little over a quarter. That nut in the middle is welded on, and then we have two jam nuts just holding the all thread on there that we're gonna stack the weight on. This is gonna be our exact setup. Cherry picker should hold it no problem, and I think it's gonna hold a pretty good amount of weight. I was 100% sure that this setup would be able to hold 50 pounds no problem, but as a formality, you gotta start somewhere, so I figured I would start low and work my way up, obviously. You might be able to notice that the more weight that's on this particular setup, the less interested I am in being around it, because to be honest, I didn't know exactly how strong it was going to be. And there's going to be variations from weld to weld, so this might be a really strong one, this might be a really weak one, and I didn't really want to take any chances. Well, I was kind of hoping this one would break on its own, because that's 280 pounds, and I can't really fit any more weight onto that bar. That is holding shockingly well. One frickin' tack weld. Awesome. Cool experiment, I guess. I actually performed this exercise two different times, but the first time, when I had 230 pounds on the bar, it wasn't balanced properly and that caused all of the weight to fall off of one side. And as the weight shifted to the other side, that's what caused the weld to break. So it wasn't really an accurate representation of how strong the weld was. That's why I had to repeat it. Now, the results we got probably shouldn't be surprising at all because I knew the tack welds are pretty dang strong because there's been a few times where I just tack welded things together and just trying to take them apart, it was extremely difficult. So I knew it was gonna be strong, but I still kind of feel like I let you guys down because I just didn't have enough weight to break it. And maybe someday when I have better equipment, better uh, measuring tools, I can use something besides physical weight to break it. But in this time, we're just gonna have to be happy with this. That did it. Now if you look closely, this was really just a tack weld. We didn't even have fusion between the two metals. It was just the tack holding up all that weight, which is pretty impressive when you really think about it because that's less than a quarter inch wide. And so that's a monumental amount of weight. So it just goes to show how strong steel really is. Anyway, thanks for doing your part to help make this world a strange place.